Okay, I want to show you how to turn this uh, transceiver on. This is the Icon uh, IC751. This is the left hand power control knob section of the transceiver. Uh, this is the power on off switch. This is a transmit receive switch. Okay, these controls down here are the audio gain control. It should be at about the 10 o'clock position. The next one in beside it is the RF gain control. It should be all clockwise. It should be around the clockwise position all the way over. The squelch control counterclockwise. The tone control uh, counterclockwise. The uh, mic gain is counterclockwise and the RF power output is counterclockwise. I want to check these controls before I turn this transceiver on to make sure they are in those positions. Okay. Make sure the transmit switch is down. Make sure that's down. I don't want to be transmitting out. Okay, and the power switch is off. Now the first thing I'm going to do to tune this up, I'm not going to tune it up in the AM transmit or single sideband mode. I use the RTTY to do a continuous wave output to tune the transmitter into the antenna tuner. I'm using the EF Johnson uh, 250 trans, uh, transmatch or antenna tuner and I'm looking at my power into an MFJ uh, 815B uh, power output meter. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to turn this on. I've got my control set. So I'm going to apply power. First of all, what you always want to do is before you apply power here is make sure that your power supply is turned on. Okay, turn that on. It's on. I'm going to apply power to the transceiver, AC power, and I push this button in. Okay, my transceiver now is on and I'm ready to set the antenna match and tune in my antenna tuner. Okay. CQ, CQ, 20 meters, CQ, CQ. Okay, that's with the compression on, mic compression on, or speech compression on, and let me show you when the speech compression is off, the difference. CQ, 20 meters, CQ, 20 meters, CQ, 20 meters. Now the compression was off, now the compression is on. CQ, 20 meters, CQ, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, and the, the uh, power switch here is set, you're looking at the output power and it's set on peak, not average. So uh, you can see when the radio is put into the compression mode for the speech on the output transmit, the audio is compressed and it goes up to 100 watts. When it's not compressed, uh, it will go only up to about 50 watts output. So 
uh, doing compression will actually take the output signal and put the audio completely across the RF output so that you can be heard in distant stations. Okay, so great for doing DX work. Let me try it again. Okay, the compression is out. I'm going to call CQ, CQ. CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters. Now the compression is going to be in. And I'm going to say CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters, CQ 20 meters. Over. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the average output with no compression. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. Now we're going to look at it with compression, the average output power. Testing one, two, three, four. Testing one, two, three, four. So as you can see that the average output power that you have with com no compression is about 50 watts. And if you notice that with the uh, average output power on compression it's at 100 watts. Now if you're just talking locally and you don't want to get out to that DX uh, no compression is alright but if you want to get out and have your voice heard across the distance use the um, compression or just leave it set at compression you'll be alright. Okay very nice uh, feature of this transceiver Basically, um, all your transceivers will have this type of uh, control, okay?